and welcome to my channel. I'm glad you could make it. Sorry, my glasses are dirty. I can barely see through them. Today I wanted to talk about how much money I am not spending living in my car. I know it sounds kind of weird, but we're going to tackle the rent. The average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in the town where I'm currently working is fifteen ninety-three. So it's one thousand five hundred and ninety-three dollars a month. Now I've been living in my car for two years plus, so I just rounded it off to two years. And I can't say that I saved that money because I don't have that money in my pocket, sadly, but over the last two years, I have not spent, get this, $38,232. $38,232 has not come out of my pocket into a landlord pocket. And now I'm thinking, I wish I could have saved that money. <laughs> but I started thinking, that would be really nice. What I have actually saved, actually physically in my hand saved, is about $1,800 in, since last September. So it's September, October, November, December, January, February. So in what was that? Six months, I've managed to save $1,800. Literally, in my hand. That's what I call saving. And I have not spent $38,000. And I'm going, yeah, this is worth it. I could have taken some of that money that I didn't spend and put it more to savings if I didn't have a loan on this car. Or I didn't have to eat out all the time. That's my two biggest expenses are my food and my car. So, uh, right now I'm having engine problems. I got my engine light flashing. Uh, but I am putting this car up for sale. Once it's fixed, that's it. I've got an appointment on Wednesday to to bring it into Kia because they were supposed to have fixed it over the Christmas holidays. That's another video altogether. The same issue is back again, not even, not even a month later. Well, yeah, a little bit over a month. Month and a half later, the same problem's back again, and I'm really, really pissed. Thankfully, I didn't have to spend any money because it was a Kia problem. But this time around, I think I'm going to end up spending uh, some of that money that I saved. We'll see. Um, it depends, I guess, on how I go in and tackle it. Because they were supposed to have fixed the problem. So I'm bringing it under, under the warranty work. But yeah, the other expense that I have is food. It's very, very difficult to cook in this car. So I'm buying a lot of my meals, which isn't helping with, you know, the fat. <laughs> I was cooking a little bit more in the summer, but not too much more. I kind of got into the habit of buying my meals and justifying it. And I could have saved a ton of money had I done a little bit more home cooking. But it's very, very difficult when you're living in a city. You can't just pull out your you know, your your little stove and start cooking in any parking lot. Uh, people look at you strange. Uh, and more so in the winter. I mean, even if you do go to a picnic area, shovel off some of the snow off of a picnic table, people still kind of look at you strange. And I don't want to attract attention to myself. So I just go through the drive throughs or I'll go into the restaurant, use the washroom, grab something to eat and I try and be as cheap as possible.
but it is what it is. It's exceedingly expensive and exceedingly unhealthy. So that's not helping at all. But once I sell this car, I'm buying my my bus. I'm definitely buying my bus. I'm determined to get the bus this year. And I know where I can get one for seven grand, probably tomorrow, you know, as soon as possible. It's going to take a little finagling to get down to Newmarket from North Bay. But, oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. I'll figure it out. Probably just rent a car. Because once I sell this car, I'll have, I'll have a little bit of cash flow. I'll have a lot more money, which would be nice. As long as I can get this car fixed and sell it safety. The only other thing that I have to do for a safety is the windshield and... Yeah, just the windshield. The windshield and the engine light. So the engine is getting taken care of this week. And I think I'm going to focus on getting the windshield fixed. And I'll spend some of the money that I've saved to get this car top notch. I'm going to be emptying it out and like cleaning it, detailing it while the weather's nice. Taking some pictures, doing a write-up. I've already got a write-up for it. And... Uh, getting it on the market and getting rid of it. I need I need to get rid of it as soon as possible. So, yeah, it's just costing me. And if I get rid of this car, that means I'm getting rid of the monthly payments as well. And I'm buying the bus cash, so there won't be any payments. So any money that I make, like, I'll have an extra $500 in my pocket every month, which is like, yeah. I'll take it, and my insurance will probably go down. But even if my insurance goes up, okay, so I'll have an extra $400 in my pocket because an extra $100 has to go to to uh, insurance. That's okay with me. <laughs> I can handle that. But yeah, I when I sat down and did the math on uh, how much money I have not spent over the last two years of living in my car, $38,232. That, that blows my mind. That just... $38,000. Like, f for the average person, that's above their salary wage per year. Most people are only making like 32, 30, 32. Like, that's kind of an average. That's unbelievable. Over a two-year period. So... Like I said, I wish I would have saved that money. And I wish I could say that I saved that money. But no, I didn't, unfortunately. $38,000. That's a mind blower, that's for sure. Anyway, I'll keep it short today. And I really appreciate you sticking around. And we will talk to you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.